the thing I really um, want to emphasize is that people have very real reasons for moving to gated communities. They're really worried about their families and their children and being safe. And these are reasonable things to be worried about. I think it's always important to start there, not to just think about gating as somehow bad and that these, are, these people want, are somehow different than any of the rest of us. They really aren't. The problem is I don't think they're aware of the consequences. Um, and there are lots of different consequences. There are psychological consequences. In particular, the thing I'm most interested in is the way in which um, people constantly talk about their fear. Uh, moms talk about their children being kidnapped. Uh, and the strange part about that discourse of fear psychologically, it, it's a fear that can't be solved, you know, with technology or with building a wall because it's a kind of a deep-seated insecurity. And when you listen to people talk, they say, well, you know, I feel so safe and secure here, but then I worry about, you know, the workers coming in. And um, there's no place. They still put on their home security alarms, even though they're inside a gated community and maybe even have a wall around their house. So you know they're talking about something else because there isn't a lot of crime. Others are looking for community, wanting to live with people like themselves. They do often end up living with people like themselves, but they rarely find community. And they certainly are not any safer than they were. And finally, of course, there's the overall sort of national, large-scale sort of impact in that it increases social uh, segregation. And in a way that Certainly in the United States, we have plenty of housing segregation. We all know that. That's, you know, it's due to racism. It's due to discriminatory mortgage practices. It's due to a lot of things. But I think that this is one step farther in that you are putting in the landscape concrete barriers that inscribe, as I, I think is the right word, inscribe this discrimination, segregation um, in the landscape. And I think those who live outside it see it threatening and fearful.